How fast can this car accelerate to its top speed? And how far can it drive that? My name is Bastian and welcome to Recharging. What is this car then? Well, this is the Renault Scenic E-Tech 100% electric long range. And that is a mouthful. Yes, I know, I know. The long range version, a WLTP range of 620 kilometers, but you can forget that because that is not the purpose of this video. No, it does 0 to 100 in 7.9 seconds and has a top speed of 170 kilometers per hour. So, how fast can it accelerate to that 170 kilometers per hour and how far can it drive that? Yes, a top speed range test. Let's go. Alrighty, I am currently on my usual starting point in Germany. It is currently 7 in the morning on a Sunday morning and it is time to accelerate this thing to its top speed. What is the top speed? Well, not a whole lot, 170 kilometers per hour, so I will be fine, I will be fine. It is front wheel drive though, so I wonder if I will get wheel spin if I do the acceleration. All right, let's put the car in sports mode damn boom everything goes red and orange because i am sporty now at the moment yeah this car isn't really that sporty it really isn't let's put it into drive there is no one behind me let's go to the ramp of the highway is that the correct word yes should be pretty not so busy on the road but there are some cars i wonder if i get some wheel spin again because it is front wheel drive. Let's wait for a little bit. There's no car over there coming. Let's wait until those cars are a bit more away, more in the distance. Still no car coming. Let's wait, no car behind me. Okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah, wheel spin because the road is a little bit wet. Yeah, this isn't working, this isn't working. That wasn't great. Too much wheel spin because the road is wet. Too much wheel spin. This car deserves another try. This car deserves another try. And there I go, 175 on the speedo. 175, which is around 170 GPS speed. If you drive 200 kilometers an hour regularly, 170 is really not that fast. It really isn't. But again, this car deserves another try because I had some wet roads. That isn't fair, that isn't fair. But that is the problem. Is the road closed? No, it isn't. But that is the problem with front wheel drive electric cars. If the road is a little bit wet, Boom, wheel, wheel spin. Again, 170 kilometers per hour is not that fast and this car feels absolutely fine at these speeds. Most cars do though. Look at the beautiful sunset. Is it sunset? I don't think it is sunset. But look at the beautiful sky. It's orange and it is absolutely amazing. All right, top speed range test update. The car has used 10% state of charge and under 10% I have driven 20 kilometers. So the range it seems like right now is 200 kilometers while driving top speed, which is more than its top speed for an hour. So that's actually really good. Well, the top speed isn't that high and this car has a 87 kilowatt hour battery pack. So it was to be expected, to be honest. But let's see what I'm going to do now is stop at this parking and give the acceleration another go. The road is drier here, the road is drier. That, that is fair for the car, that is fair. I normally don't do this stop in between, but again, this is another parking and I want to give the car another try. The road is a little bit drier here, so let's stand still. There's no car coming, it's a nice long stretch. No car coming, no car coming, no car coming. Go! Yeah, this car isn't fast, there is no wheel spin. So this is more fair, there is no wheel spin, but come on. I mean the 0 to 100 acceleration time is only around 8 seconds or 7.5 seconds, something like that, so yeah. It's not amazing, it is a family car, so it shouldn't be amazing, but still. And 
here we go, top speed, yeah, that was not overwhelming at all. But again, this is a family car, so it doesn't have to be. It's fine, it's, it's fine. The car has now used 25% state of charge and under 25% I have driven around 50 kilometers. So the range is still 200 kilometers. Another thing though, because I didn't mention the average consumption during my previous update, well, the average consumption is more than 40 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Why do I say more than? Because it is capped at 40 kilowatt hours. I don't know why car makers do this, but well, it, it is. Besides that, it's not the most quiet car out there though. I expected the car to be a little bit more quiet for a Frenchman, for a French woman, I don't know. But well, it isn't, so yeah. Anyway, I will turn around at the next exit. I have no idea when the next exit is. There's a Beamer. There's a Beamer in my ass tail. Ass tail. But there's also other slower people here. So let's hammer it. Yep, thank you. Uh, yeah, I will turn around at the next uh, exit. Yeah, that's a word. I will let the Beamer pass, I will pass this car and let the Beamer pass and then you can see how fast that car will be driving. Probably a lot, yes you're flashing me, I know I'm going to the right, I'm sorry. And there it goes, probably doing 200 now, well not yet but that car is going over 200 kilometers an hour probably, yeah. It's crazy, crazy German sometimes. Anyway, here is the exit, time to turn around. I am back at my usual starting point. The car is now at 22% state of charge. The road is still a little bit wet. I am doing one more acceleration. See if I get a power limit or something, but there will probably just a lot of wheel spin. Yeah, probably a lot of wheel spin. So let's go to the ramp of the highway. It's still, man, I always have to do this on Sunday morning. It's so quiet. It's no holiday season anymore, so that helps. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. No, I can't. There's a car coming. Or there are motorcycles coming. I'm just standing still here now for a little bit. All right, here I go. One, two, three, go. Wheel spin. More wheel spin. Yeah, this is not good. I mean, the acceleration is not as punchy as in some other cars, but there's still wheel spin because it is front wheel drive. It's just the way it is, the nature of front wheel drive electric cars. Wheel spin to the wheel spin. Anyway, let's get to a charger and then I will give you the result of the top speed range test. Okay, so I am done hammering in Germany. The car is now fast charging, so it is time for the result of the top speed range test. I started my test with 78% state of charge and I finished my test with 22%. So that means I've used 56%. On that 56% I have driven 108 kilometers. So the range while driving 170 kilometers per hour with the Renault Scenic E-Tech 100% electric long range. So that means 87 kilowatt hours of usable capacity is 193 kilometers. The average consumption was, yeah, that's a bit weird because the car is kept at 40 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, but it is more of course. So I calculated that the consumption was around 45 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that is the result. I hope you liked it. And if you did, well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you a lot for watching then. And as always, to be continued.